Hi there and welcome to ZDNet. Today I want to talk to you about how to add a HomePod to your home app. Alright, so for this video, let's talk about how to add your HomePod to the Home app on your iPhone or iPad and how to connect your HomePod to Wi-Fi. Alright, so let's dive right in. The first step will be to plug in your HomePod and wait for the white light. If your HomePod hasn't been set up yet, when it powers up, a white light will start pulsing on the display at the top of it. The next step would be to hold your iPhone near your HomePod. You can also use an iPad to set it up, but I'm going to use my iPhone. Just make sure that whatever device you're using is unlocked and near the HomePod. And this is an easy way to do it. A pop-up will appear once the HomePod is recognized by your iPhone or iPad and you'll be prompted to set it up. After that, you can just follow the prompts on the screen. If you're not seeing the HomePod pop up for you on your screen, you can also just set it up in the Apple Home app, which is the little app here with a yellow home on it. This app should come with your iPhone, but if you don't have it, you can go to the App Store and download it. When you open the Apple Home app, you want to create a home. I'm going to name mine Home Seas just for fun. And this is where we're going to add our HomePod, but also every subsequent smart device that we want to add to be controlled by HomeKit. And that can be anything like smart bulbs or locks or sensors or anything else that you buy. Next, we're going to tap on Add Accessories so we can add our HomePod to the Home app. When you do that, you can see you can actually scan a setup code, which typically comes in the box of any smart accessory that you buy, like a smart bulb, for example. But in this case, we're going to tap on More Options so we can prompt our phone to recognize the HomePod Mini that is nearby. So once you do More Options, we're going to select HomePod and scan the animation on top of the HomePod with our phone or iPad. And after that, it'll be a matter of following the prompts to set it up. This will involve picking a room where your HomePod will be. I'm going to select my living room and accept your terms and conditions. And next, I'm going to transfer the settings from my Apple ID. That's how you connect your HomePod to Wi-Fi. You don't have to go in and set up the Wi-Fi separately. Once you add your HomePod to your Apple ID and you use your iPhone or your iPad to set it up, your HomePod will simply connect to the network that your iPhone or iPad is connected to. If you ever have issues with your Wi-Fi where you have to reset it and change the password or the name of it, you can just place your HomePod near your iPhone or iPad again and it'll automatically recognize the different network and will ask you to authorize changing it. If you want to use your HomePod as your smart hub, you want to make sure it's selected as one. So go to your home settings in the home app and go to home hubs and bridges. And you can see here my HomePod mini was already automatically added as a home hub. And that's how you add a HomePod to your home app. Thank you so much for watching.